How's it gaming guys? I'm Film Blanks and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest. We've uh, gotten to level 10, which is pretty great. We've bought a bunch of things that revealed are, including some keys. So let's check out what we can do with those keys. Hello, good sir. How are you today? Let's open that door. If I, I freed you, if you're a true hero, you won't steal anything. Heh, <laughs> too bad. Open the treasure chest. Hey, found a magic key. That's good. We recovered our magic key that we just used. Uh, I found the magic acorn. Very nice. Let's use that right away. And we gained 3 MP. 3 max MP. That's very good. Agility seed. And we'll go to the last one, too. 342 gold. Hey, I'm okay with that. Not bad. Not bad at all. How much agility? 3. Okay. Not, not, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. If you're a true hero, you won't steal anything. Oh, you guess you just don't notice that I've stole all that. Too bad for you. And over here, some more places, including what looks like a shop over there. Hooray! Let's check out the shop. Actually, let's go down here first. I'm looking for an underground chamber. I heard there's one somewhere in this castle. Ooh, okay. You have traveled on such a difficult journey at a young age. The least I can do is pray for your safety. Well, thank you. That is the least you can do. Uh, let us pray for the hero. May the light be with you. Oh, yay. Aw, oh, that's nice. Well, thank you. Thank you for the nice music. The strength is completely recovered. Oh, cool. Well, heal up. There is much danger in you if you advance past this point. Your strength will be drained considerably. But if you have enough courage, come on through. This stuff, I don't even know what you'd call it. But it drains a lot of HP from you. It's like a marsh, but much more. So I have 60 HP. And now I have 46. So boom, boom, boom. And now I have only 32. So let's heal up. So we're going to need that just to cross back. Hello, sir. It's great that you've made it here. If you're a hero, then you can defeat the monster that you encounter inside the Grave of Garen. Oh, go to the town of Garenum and push against a wall of darkness. By doing that, a path may open to the grave. Ooh, a secret, secret hiding placey thing. Well, that's definitely good. I like the idea that, like, you have to be strong enough to get past that, and you have to be decently strong, because that stuff takes a lot more off of you in the NES version. Uh, so it's kind of a way for the game to, like, gauge you, like, hey, there's something over here, but you have to be pretty strong to do it. So to you. Would you like a magic key? Yes! Magic keys are a little bit more expensive here. Um, but we did replenish the keys, uh, any keys that we used, which is great. We don't have to go back to, uh, to, um, Remuldar. But I'm not sure if the, uh, the locks stay open. So we'll check that out in a second. When rain and sun join, a rainbow bridge will be produced. Or so the ancient legend says. So don't leave the castle. Kind of step a little bit to the right. And we'll find the hidden passages that that uh, soldier was talking about. Oh, I guess we can go a little bit more? Yeah. Down here. This is technically the next shrine. Here's our next, our last Wiseman. Hello, Wiseman. Oh, Philip. I was told that someday a young descendant of Erdrick would visit. Long ago, my ancestors were entrusted with this treasure chest. It contains the Stone of Sunlight from the legendary hero Erdrick. This item is necessary if you're going to defeat the Dragon Lord. Now then, open the treasure chest. Ooh. Fill up with the treasure chest. I found the Stones of Sunlight, the first of the three necessary equip uh, pieces of, not equipment, but necessary items. Stones of Sunlight. Philip, I pray for the time that you once again return the light to this land. Now I have kept and protected the Stones of Sunlight for a long time. I'm now feeling a little tired. I'm going to lay down and rest. That's fair. Oh, is he actually going? He's going to lay down. That's pretty cute. Oh, are you okay, buddy? Take care of the Stones of Sunlight for me. I can clearly remember the words of the legendary warrior Erdrick. You definitely resemble the great warrior Erdrick. Return peace to this lance once again. I beseech you, Philip. Let's check to see if there's anything in here. Ooh, medical herb. Okay. Nothing crazy, but all right. Acorn of Life. Yeah, give me some MP. Or not MP, sweet HP. Next week, you increase by five. You'll also notice that, unfortunately, the Stones of Sunlight do take up a spot in your inventory. The, the key items do that, which is quite frustrating, but that's okay. And, uh, alright, next up, do we go to Garenim? And do that right away. I don't know if we're actually strong enough to do that. Level 10. Hmm. Ah, screw it. Let's do it. 
Let's go to Garenum. See what we can do. Not the order I originally planned on doing this, but I mean, that's the fun part about this game. You can kind of do things in whatever order you want. It doesn't really matter. If we die, we die, I guess. I mean, we will need gold, obviously, because we're going to want to get the next pieces of equipment and stuff like that. Actually, I think I can get the, um, the next shield. I think I might have found it in the Rocky Mountain dungeon that we did, uh, like in the second episode or something like that. But when we're at Garenum, we'll we'll see the shop, and if I can get a better shield, I will, and if I can't, I won't. Yes, yes. Oh, the ghost didn't see me. Well, I didn't see the ghost, because ghosts are real. Ha ha! Actually, question of the day. Do you guys believe in ghosts or, like, supernatural spirits or something like that? I don't know if I do. I guess I'm open to the, the idea of it, but I don't, like, actively believe in it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but... Alright, let's see if I can buy anything here. Large shield. Oh, I do have a large shield, so I did find one. Saved 800 bucks by doing that in that dungeon. Alright, well, let's uh, obviously go to the other, like, friggin' half... Oh, get out of my way, lady. Uh, of of Garenum. Yay! It is it your desire to venture into the grave of Garenum? The sound of the silver harp can call monsters and send them rushing to you. Stop your journey now and leave this place. No, I'm good. A long time ago, I traveled to the, the town called Hawksness. I spent the most wonderful time at an inn run by a delightful old man. I wonder how he's doing now. Well, I hope we go to Hawksness soon. It would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? Where's the entrance of the grave of Garenum, you ask? I regret that I can't tell you that. Try searching for yourself. Thanks, jerk. That's a very rude thing to do, but all right. Ah, it's a thief! The world would be completely destroyed anyway, so I don't think you profit from my money. Well, I think I can. Uh, copper sword. I do not need that. And torch, which I don't need. And I'd like to get that other thing, but you're in the way, man. So hopefully... Oh, 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 you might be moving. Get out of the way. You get out of the way? No! Ah, oh, you suck. Ah! Yeah, there we go. Don't lock me in. And this was 630 gold. I'm okay with that. Oh, we forgot to check to see if the um, the keys in uh, Tentacle Castle stayed uh, stayed open. Oh, whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, you open the door with a key. Well, it's about time. Here you go. Take this key. That's really funny. But at least it means we didn't lose a key, so hooray. And what did that guy say? Push up into the darkness. Right here. There we go. Return from the grave of Garen with your life, if you can. If you wish to die, then by all means, step forward. And he disappears. Creepy. All right, um, let's see how we do in the grave of Garen. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, use our Radiant Spell. Hooray. And that's like basically a torch, but it will run out by itself after a little while. So, you know, be careful. And uh, I just realized that we don't have the uh, outside spell, so I can't escape this dungeon whenever I want. Uh, which makes this even more dangerous. I didn't I didn't think of that, because that's something you kind of want. Uh, so when we get to the Silver Harp in, in a couple floors, the only way out is to walk back out. Wow, there's like no fights here. There we go. So skeleton. So, so far nothing crazy, but every time you go down... A staircase obviously it's a little bit more dangerous so if I die I die it's not really a big deal I'm willing to spend the time grinding off screen so you guys don't have to see it because of my blunder so uh acorn of life I'm alright that oh I can't afford anything or I can't hold anything else let's throw away the torch which I do not need use up that acorn hey five HP uh, five more HP whoops there we go more gold I'm okay with that and another magic key. How many magic oh, well, that's actually, that's pretty good. At least I'm getting my magic keys back, so that's definitely helpful. So down we go. So we're going to need a key, actually, to get through this dungeon, because there is a, uh, a big locked door. Warlock. We're fine with that. We're doing a lot. And uh, fireballs still take 10, obviously, because it goes through defense. But it shows how, um, like, 10 damage isn't really that big a deal to me anymore the way it used to be so it's basically a regular hit for a lot of the stronger enemies so whatever Ooh, a drachima Ooh. oh it protects itself damn okay so his regular attacks only do one but you probably do fireball oh and he dies in one good hit so that's good for me and big door very cool it's a good thing we got that key oh and a droll 
I think there were drolls in um, the dungeon we were last time, the last dungeon, but I don't remember. I know that they were in the um, like the bridge to Remildar that's like uh, the underground kind of tunnel. I think they're in that, so they're not very powerful. They don't do anything spe special. But druids and drolls, you could only fight them in dungeons. Uh, so they're kind of just like nocturnal or like underground type of enemies. It's kind of cool. All right, that's the first floor. And down we go. Now which way to go? Thankfully, my torch stays with me, so that's that's definitely good. Uh, that... Uh, actually, where should I go? Using my map, being a cheap little bugger. I could get 340 gold. That doesn't sound worth it to me, though. So we're going to go down here. Uh, but yeah, but my torch uh, doesn't disappear when you just go down uh, uh, some stairs or anything, which is nice. But like I said, it will disappear as I take more steps, so... I don't like the idea of being close to, like, 40 HP, so if I ever go below 40 HP, I'm going to start uh, healing at that point. You kind of have to, like, set yourself a little... Ooh. Dungeon getting scary. Jeez, that that music is not in the original game. That's really cool. It's also scary. Oh, this isn't where I want to go. No, it's not. Okay, cool. Ooh, I like that. That's not in the original game at all. It just... The music always just keeps going downwards. But yeah, when you're, when you're in a dungeon or just leveling up, have a kind of like, this is as far as I'll let my HP go, and then always make sure you have HP higher than that, because it's just dangerous if you get low HP, because there's not a lot you can do if things go real bad for you. Wolf Lord! Oh, no, oh wait, that's fine. <laughs> I thought that was a werewolf, because the werewolves are above my pay grade right now, so. Right now we're doing okay. This is actually just the stuff we're leveling up with, which is actually working out really well for me. So huzzah for that. Keep going, follow this path. It's pretty much straightforward at this point. This is definitely the uh, this is the second longest dungeon in the game. It's still not very long, considering, but still. My torch went down a little bit. Ooh, the music. So cool. Ooh, a druid lord. Uh, that sounds scary, so I'm going to put it to sleep. It didn't work. Oh, he just heals himself. I'm okay with that. He attacks for six. Okay. So nothing crazy. I could use stop spell on him, but he dies in two hits, so it doesn't matter. I'm definitely gonna heal up. We're not using as much fireball anymore, which is nice, which means we're using our MP for things that are a lot more useful, so good. And up. And here we go. The Silver Harp of Garen. And now that means we can actually visit the first wise man that we, uh that we encountered way back in the day, and we can get our second useful item. Isn't that amazing? It's great. Uh, actually, let's um, let's use it right now. Let's see what happens. It sounds like the beginning of Link to the Past. Ba -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. But yeah, it makes a battle happen. Ooh, Spectre. Um, you stop spill on you. Yay, it worked. Now you can only attack me, which is still pretty good. Six damage is not... Not bad for a ghost-type enemy. Awesome. And there we go. That dungeon went pretty well. But let's uh, make our way out of it. At least we'll get some experience doing so. That's always nice. We definitely have enough time. We're about 15 minutes in the episode, I think. So that's good. It's definitely a lot more dangerous to be fighting things while you do dungeons in these old RPGs. A lot of times you just level up outside of towns and but you just uh uh you you run away from everything within a dungeon that way if you're fighting really really bad guys you have enough like resources to kind of get out alive so it can be a little a little dangerous but whatever that's okay i think we're doing pretty good actually we should have no real trouble getting back uh you didn't try to use any magic like last time so i don't know if you even know any magic well you, apparently you do because you put me asleep that's super dangerous but i woke up could have been a lot worse. Okay. Could have been a lot, lot worse, actually. Let's heal up just in case, though. Alright. Get the hell out of this. This dingy, toomy place. It'd be kind of cool if they had added um, a boss here. There's, there's really only, like, three bosses in the game. Maybe, maybe more? I don't know. But I feel there's only, like, three. Huzzah! 
We should be getting our next level, level 11, before we leave here, which will be nice. So, hopefully, anyways. Probably only a few more steps before my Radiant Spell starts to wear off again. Maybe not. It's doing pretty good, actually. No, no, a regular wolf. Yeah, we're going to be doing fine. I was really worried that I wouldn't have enough experience for these uh, enemies, but they turn out to be pretty simple. So, I'm happy about that. That went a lot better than I thought it could. It could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, we're at the top two floors, which means regular easy enemies. We might not even get that level, because the uh, experience is going to start not being as great. And up. First floor. Menswear. Oops. And obviously that door is still unlocked, or else I wouldn't be able to get out, but... I don't know, you never know. These old games. Like, oh, not too bad, you don't have an extra key. You're locked in here until you die. But it is, yeah, it is open, so that's good. That would have been really rough. It mean, means we would have just had to stay here. Because I don't have the wings of a wyvern with me either, so... Oh, you survived more than one hit? I thought I was killing skeletons in one hit by this point. Oh, well, maybe next level. Speaking of which... Level 11. Uh, 5, 4, 2... No! Max HP by 8 and max MP by 9? I am all right with that. That's a massive amount of MP in a single level. Holy crap. Did I kill you one hit now? I do. 29 damage. Holy shit. Quite the difference. Every level makes such a difference. So It's so um, satisfying, I guess. And down, and... We're out! Oh, well, now we're, no, we're dead. It would be awesome if it was like a crazy, super, like, super enemy that we've never seen before or something. Awesome. We did it. Congratulations, everyone. We survived Garen's tomb. We have a silver harp to show for it. We have a little bit extra time, too. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Don't get my way. Thank you. Do I have anything to sell? Ooh, a lot of a lot of uh, gold too. It's great. Uh, copper sword and anything else? No. Wow, you really don't have a lot of room for anything. My goodness. All right, well, let's get out of here. And we'll start making our way to coal because there are two things we can do in coal. One of which is to. Uh, Find out about that rumor we heard from someone that says there's something near the uh, the baths in coal. So that is the thing we talked about when we went to coal for the first time, where I said you could have gotten it right away, but I wanted to wait till the game kind of told you about it. But yeah, do to do, just making our way there, making our way downtown. Slimes, why are you even? Why are you even attacking me? If they actually are able to go before you, a lot of times they'll start running away now. I'm not sure if actually that happens in this game. It happens in the first game, the actual NES version. But, yeah. Oops. And... Is Cole up there? Damn, I don't remember where I am. Ooh, the dragon. The Drakey has balls, man. Wanted to attack me. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Oh, no, I'm going the right way. Just keep going to the right. It's not like it's a big world, Phil. How could you get lost? Wow, another Drakey just suddenly attacks. I'm getting hit by a lot of uh, preemptives. But they're really easy enemies, so it's really not that big a deal. Down we go, down we go. And we're almost to coal. Almost to coal. Almost there. Almost there. We gotta make it. Can we make it? Of course we can. It's very easy to make it. Oh, Magic Drakey. Oh, no. I love seeing old enemies that might have given you trouble and just smack them around in one hit and they're dead. And... Oh, whoops. Around this mountain. I'm padding the episode. Clearly what I'm doing. And dead. There you are, Cole. All right, guys. I'm filling the blanks, and I'll see... Okay, now we'll fight this. While I'm filling the blanks, I'll see you guys next level. Take that, ghost. You're dead. Again. Dead twice. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.